My name is Brian. I'm a California registered professional forester. What we have right here is a typical stand on our property. It's a mixture of Douglas fir, redwood, and tan oak. You can see it's pretty shady here because the tan oak is casting a lot of shade. What you can't see is the tan oak is also removing a lot of moisture from the soil. So if we don't treat the tan oak here, these seedlings has a lot of competition from both shade and lack of moisture. This stand was treated uh, about 12 months ago. So we hired contractors to uh, treat these stands. And what they'll do, they'll go through the stand and they'll cut through the bark of the town oak to expose the wood. And then they inject one milliliter of solution of herbicide into the notch they've just made. It's a very safe method of herbicide application for the environment. The contractor, he has minimal exposure to the herbicide. He's directly injecting the herbicide into the tree with a syringe. So there's very little exposure to him or to the environment. There's no spill hazard. We don't do all the town oaks in our units. Very large town oaks or madrones that are valuable for wildlife trees are left untreated. We also don't treat trees that are streamside buffer or in a wildlife buffer zone. The stand is still kind of shady right now. The leaves are being retained until the fall rains come. They'll get washed off in the rains. You can come here six months from now, next spring, you'll see a lot more light reaching the stand and you'll see this redwood sprout behind me respond to increased levels of light and increased levels of soil moisture. And this ceiling behind me will grow about five feet next year because the conditions are more favorable to it. Had we not done the uh, treatment, the growth is much slower here on the redwood sprouts. They grow maybe one a foot a year, a two foot a year. So because of this treatment that we do, it allows us to get a really healthy, fast growing stand of redwood and Douglas fir and restore these forests back to their historical condition. These tannin treatments that we do help us ensure that we have healthy redwood and Douglas fir forests for now and in the future.